Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James with Chart Guys. It is Tuesday, January 30th. Going to do my nightly video on gold. So gold currently after the top here, it's consolidating. It's still healthy consolidation. Um, clearly, every candle since the top is, is forming a lower high, lower high on the daily, lower high on the daily. So what I'm waiting for is a higher high on the daily. Uh, so that would be a break of today's high if we if we do get that break on this on this daily candle here of 1352.50 um, to show me that we are potentially out of consolidation here. And again, this is healthy consolidation. This increasing bear volume is a little bit concerning and something to watch for. Um, so just being patient to wait for a higher high on gold on the daily. As far as the hourly goes, uh, let me draw that line. Uh, the hourly goes, what, what resistance we need to watch for is you can clearly see that there was a bunch of profit taking here and a long upper wick here on the hourly at uh, 1352.50, uh, which again lines up with the, the high of the high of today at 1352.50. So looking for a break of 1352.50 as a clear resistance right now after that that profit taking in and reversal candle there on a decent volume and then following through with more decent bear volume there. So the shorter term charts, bears are in control. Uh, we can be watching here for the hourly, see if we form a higher low, uh, which is currently trying to base right now and see if we can create a higher low above this, this last low of 1337.50. So we'll see if 1337.50 holds. And if 1337.50 holds and we form a higher low um, above that level, I'm going to look for a break of 1352.50 to show me that this consolidation is over on gold. Looking at the miners, you can clearly see that the hourly after highs, we're forming lower highs, lower highs on the balances here and continuing to form lower lows. Uh, so what we need to do is form a higher high and then a higher low. So looking for a break tomorrow for bulls of 23.89 and for bears support break of 23.33 showing me that we're going to continue to set lower highs and lower lows on this hourly chart. So for the senior miners that would be a break of 23.89 for the bulls and for the bears it would be a break of 23.33. For the junior miners looking for a bull break above 33.99 so basically that $34 level and a bear break below 3301, the $33 level. So that's a $1 uh, level either way uh, that I'm looking for, either a break of 34 or a break of, of uh, $33. As far as the dollar goes, we are just in a hourly oversold bounce. Haven't seen anything significant. If we go to a four hour chart, you can clearly see that we are still continuing to lower lows on the four hour and lower highs on these bounce attempts. So currently uh, resistance on the dollar is going to be at the high of 89.619. And actually, I'm sorry, 89.61. I'm sorry, it's at 89.637. That's the, the four hour that needs to break on resistance. Um, currently the four hour is forming higher lows here. So looking at if we break the low of today of 88.912, then looking at support at break of 88.723 and must hold this recent low here of 88.438. Looking at gold longer term, looking at the weekly chart here, Let me move this line. So we did break to a higher high on the weekly by not by much. So uh, currently the way these candles look on the daily for me, that's a double top, honestly, to me um, on something that's trading in the 1300s. We had a high of 1362.4 and it got all the way up to 13.365.4. Uh, so uh, that is 
not significant of a bull break enough for me to consider that anything more than a double top currently right now. And what I would be watching for here is again, the last time we had the top in here and then we had a red red week and lost the upper Bollinger Band on the weekly, um, we had a big time pullback and that's where the pullback started. What I would watch for is uh, to see if this inside candle holds. So the high and low right now on the weekly candles within the previous range is high and low. It would be a big red flag for me if we break to a uh, lower low on this weekly, which is at 1328. So you can clearly see from the bottom here on these weekly candles that we've had a higher high on every consecutive week until this week, which is an inside candle, and we've had higher lows on every consecutive weekly candle. Higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. So it'd be a little wary if we break that 1328 level this week. That's going to be a clear indicator that we may be in for, for, for some further pullback here on that weekly gold chart. Um, and if the bulls are able to hold this inside candle on the on the weekly, that would be a consolidation candle and see if we are able to break above whatever the weekly range is next week, uh, either bear or bull. And if we're able to break it bull, then if we break 1365.40, that's going to be looking great for the bulls for continuation on this longer term with the weekly chart, in my opinion, the monthly monthly we, we had a low, a high. Uh, higher low, lower high, it's getting tight. And we did break it by a little bit, but again, it's a little insignificant. I do like the fact that the upper Bollinger Band on the monthly is opening up here. Um, as long as you can stay above the 20 MA on the monthly and see if we can get some upside. Because from this bottom here, um, you can clearly see that on every consolidation on the monthly, we formed a higher low, higher low. So as long as you can continue to hold higher lows on this monthly, I do like still like the long term on gold. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.